Surya, nice uh, quick win with the white pieces. Black did not really uh, try to do anything. It seemed like you were all play and he wasn't really trying to make find any good plan. Yeah, it felt pretty much one-sided. Uh, I mean, especially after his move, Rook FC8. I think that was, you know, completely playing on the wrong direction here to somehow start playing on king side. So it was a snare of uh, G3 line with knight B3 I played. And uh, we got this uh, typical structure with pawn on d5. I have double bishop, but okay, my bishop is uh, on g2, is kind of uh, not doing anything at that point. And uh, I was expecting, like every move I was expecting, he would, you know, play some knight e8, g6, f5, you know, try to push on queen side. But when he played rook fc8, I was very happy because it clearly showed the inten his intention that he wants to play on queen side. And uh, I mean, queen side, I have majority, and uh, once the position got opened, it was very clear that uh, I, I had to find some precise moves, like queen c4, I was very happy about. So once I saw queen c4, I realized uh, it'll be winning because his pawns are kind of falling apart. Yeah, it was more or less easy. Right now, on paper, you were clearly higher on rating and the favorite in this game, but uh, and it often happens that players take a passive role then, but that's never a good idea when you're playing against a stronger player. You've got to go for this idea like G6, F5 and kind of make your own plans, no? Absolutely, and uh, also in a tournament like Gibraltar, you see like uh, upsets happening in every single round. I mean, uh, already Gelfand and Swidler dropped a point, and uh, okay, Caruana was losing the other day, Vesher was losing, Yu Youngi was losing on the first round. So you see like, you know, there are players who are actually playing aggressive and uh, yeah, I mean, even today's game, if you look at uh, Swidler's opponent, he's just, uh, you know, they're, they're actually going for it. And uh, the problem is, uh, yeah, I mean, if you also overpress uh, with all these players, you know, you, it can backfire. You can get into trouble as well. And uh, in fact, in the first round, you yourself did not have an ideal start. You do, but you won the f uh, next two games. How do you recover from something like the first round draw? Um, I just don't bother. I just try to get a good sleep. And uh, yeah, talking about these games, I just saw like Sarvanan is playing actually excellent. No, he's, I mean, uh, the way I understand uh, why it is absolutely better and is clearly he's playing for win against Ivanchuk. It's probably winning. I mean, if he doesn't mess up. Yes, well, it's going to be interesting to watch. And now you're somebody who comes back to Gibraltar really often. You like this tournament, yeah? Yeah, I like this tournament. Yeah, I really like this tournament. I like the place and uh, everything about this tournament. I love to come back again and again. Well, thank you very much and we wish you all the best for the remaining rounds. Thank you.